The FBI has yet to interview Christine Blasey Ford about sexual assault allegations against the Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. KCR3 political analyst and senior vice president of Randall Communications, Kevin Riggs, joins us this morning. So Ford's attorneys want her to be interviewed. How could this affect a confirmation vote? Yeah, they've made it very clear they want her uh, to be interviewed, but it hasn't happened so far. There's no indication that it will. So at this point, uh, the Senate's going to move forward with that confirmation vote later this week, regardless of whether or not Ford is questioned by the FBI. Again, no indication that she's going to be. Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, has said he expects that FBI report to be in his hands in the next day or so for review, and that would set up then a confirmation vote, perhaps a preliminary vote on Friday and then a final floor vote uh, by as early as Saturday. The, the report itself, by the way, is not going to be made public, but, uh, you know, get this, it's going to be released to all 100 senators, so you can start taking bets uh -huh. on how long it'll take for someone to leak the content right. of that report. Understandably. <laughs> won't take long. It'll be an interesting office poll. Yeah. So there's a record number of voters registered for next month's election. Personally, I was surprised to hear that, and I'm curious to know, what do you think is driving that trend? Honestly, if you look at polls, uh, Donald Trump is a huge factor in all this. Uh, the polls will tell you that even though Trump is not on the ballot, his name is not on the ballot, certainly his record is, and so pollsters are being told that voters feel motivated to register in order to express their opinion on the administration. Now, that does cut both ways because pollsters have registered uh, high enthusiasm on the part of both major parties, but here in California, it's a clear advantage for the Democrats. The latest numbers from the Secretary of State's office, 19 million, more than 19 million registered voters. That is an all-time high for midterm elections. Democrats, 44 uh, percent. Republicans, 24 and a half percent. And then you have independents continuing to grow mm -hmm. at about 26 percent. So huge numbers of registered voters. Of course, the thing to watch for will be <laughs> the actual turnout. Who actually Certainly shows up? The shows execution. Up. Right. That's right. Well, Governor Brown hit another milestone this week as he signed or vetoed his last batch of bills. One of those vetoes was a bill to set up legal injection sites in San Francisco. Was this a surprise? Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, this bill, as you say, would have allowed San Francisco to set up sites for uh, drug addicts to show up, uh, have access to clean needles, have access to medical supervision and to referral to other programs. And the governor vetoed that bill saying he wasn't convinced that it was a way to cut drug addiction. He said a better solution would be more drug treatment programs. But it certainly does create a dilemma for San Francisco's new mayor, London Breed, who has pledged to open this site. The question is, will she do that now without the legal cover of state law? Right. Yeah. Must have been strange for him signing that last one. Last one, know. and then he says, off to Calusa County. <laughs> there he is. You know it. Here All we right. go. Thank you, That's Kevin. Right. Well, Kevin Wright's political blog, tomorrow's Riggs Report, will be posted at midnight. You can read it on the KCRA 3 News app.